This is like a renewal, refreshing experience. There's definitely a sisterhood. Thousands of women that are in the same place you are and going through exactly what you are. Everything that is spoken at Women of Faith is always pertinent to everyone. It has something to do with what's going on in every person's life. You need your battery recharged once in a while, and this is a good way to do it. This is my first time coming. This is my seventh year. This is our third trip this year. There's a group of about 28 to 30 of us. 2008, our theme is Infinite Grace, and I have to say I'm more excited about this year than any year we've ever done at Women of Faith. It truly is amazing when you experience freedom, God's freedom. You will be different, and God will change your perspective. Isn't it good to laugh, ladies? Isn't it just so good? Come to Women of Faith. It's awesome. Nobody said it'd be easy. If you find the verse in the Bible that says, and it'll be easy, call me collect. I'm waiting for it. You know about my drug problem, how my parents drug me to church every time the doors were open. I will walk in and the power of the Holy Spirit just makes me want to cry. I love singing and so when I'm standing in this arena with all of these ladies, it's like we're in heaven. I walk away every time united in my spirit with Christ. When you say, I can't do this, God's greater than that feeling. What may look destroyed to us is just opportunity for God to show up, to show up, to bring life out of what looks like there was nothing. God is able to forgive anything. Such freedom to express, such freedom to just be, such freedom to not worry about whether it's acceptable. The truth will make you free. And I use the truth, and I learn the truth, and it sets you free. It always makes me feel good to hear when somebody is going through something that I have been through. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. When I was finally set free by grace, it changed my life. So I believe that in 2008, all across this nation, thousands and thousands and thousands of women will finally begin to understand the grace of God and will be set free to love and to live their lives. Your addiction, your lifestyle, and your situation may be big, but God is bigger. Write your struggles in sand, but write your victories in stone. Here's what I think you ought to do, girlfriends. Pack up your jammies and get ready for some fun. Did you know? that my girlfriend, Jan Silvius, and Anita Renfro are both going to be at the pre-conference, and the three of us can hardly wait. This belt has come to symbolize my philosophy now that I'm over 40, which is, baby, if you can't lose it, decorate it. We have the choice to put away childish things. Patsy and Jen and I are going to have a great time. They're talking about I second that emotion, and you need to be there too.